What's up everybody, you're watching Joe Box TV, and I'm here to recap the Manny Pacquiao Adrian Broner fight. Easy victory for Manny Pacquiao, a unanimous decision victory, and I gotta say, it did go pretty much the way I expected. I tried to tell you guys, Adrian Broner was not going to be up to the task. I mean, I didn't really feel as though he deserved a big pay-per-view fight like this, and... Quite honestly, he didn't really fight like it. He didn't really fight with any urgency, especially not in the second half of the fight. So let me start from the first round. Round one, it was pretty much a, feel, a feeling out process. Pacquiao was the only one making contact, however. I thought Pacquiao pretty handily won the first round. Second round, I actually gave to Adrian Broner. I thought he landed some good right-hand counters, and did a good job of um, nullifying Pacquiao's attacks. Round three was a solid round for Manny Pacquiao, and he's thrown the left hand a lot. Wasn't really landing it to the chin that often, but he was landing very regularly to the chest. Round four was Broner's best round of the fight. I thought he started out the round strong, catching Pacquiao coming in with some good left hooks. And I thought he ended the round strong with the right uppercut left hook combination. Here's the thing. That was his last really effective round of the fight before taking like a five or six round break where he didn't do much of anything. Round five was, I'd say, was the turning point of the fight. Oh. As I expected, Broner just kind of took his foot off the gas and there were many instances where he would lay up against the ropes and do that thing where he persuades the opponent that he's not hurting him, not being effective, but enough of what Pacquiao was throwing was landing. Round 7, I think, was probably Pacquiao's best round of the fight. Um, even at 40 years old, you could still see that the foot movement and the hand speed were still very much among the elite. It was at elite level. And, um, he landed some good buy shots that doubled over Broner. And in one instance in round seven, he took him to the ropes and just pummeled him. At least momentarily, he started to pummel Broner. Round eight, not much happened, but Pacquiao, I think, was the only one making contact. As Broner starts to fight as though he's way ahead on points, and ultimately, after the, uh, the fight ended, he ludicrously claimed that he won the fight, which I'll get into very shortly. Round 9, Pacquiao landed his best punch of the fight. A big straight left hand caught Broner right on the chin. As Broner was throwing a left hook, he opened himself up to the straight left hand. Almost knocked him down, but not quite. And Pacquiao was able to land that straight left hand throughout the fight. Because of that move, which I mentioned in my prediction, where Broner dips down to his right every time he anticipates an attack. And that gave Pacquiao an opportunity to land that straight left hand. Round 10. Broner has a decent round, actually, and I think I gave him the 10th round. Where, and he shows that when he lets his hands go, it's special to watch. What I found very puzzling and almost insulting to the boxing fans intelligence was the way that Broner fought in the last two rounds, the championship rounds, no urgency whatsoever, just backed up, backed up, and he, he was actually running from Pacquiao, and ultimately at the end of the fight I had 117-111, nine rounds of three for Pacquiao. Um, one judge had it 117-111 as well, with two judges scoring at 116-112. So it's another victory for Pacquiao in his storied career, Hall of Fame career, 8th Division World Champion. What's kind of astonishing about this is that Pacquiao actually fought with a cold, and he admitted in the post-fight press conference when he was seen blowing his nose, and you, you could tell that he was under the weather, and he fought this fight. Now, there are reports that Pacquiao did suffer an eye injury in this fight, and that his camp feared it could be a detached retina. Obviously, you don't 
um, hope that's the case, because if it is, it would likely end his career. However, Pacquiao did recently state that his eye is starting to feel better. Now let's, let's talk about Adrian Broner. I honestly don't want to see him in a major fight like this again until he proves he can compete at this level. I think maybe a rematch with Jesse Vargas would be fine. A fight with Lamont Peterson, or the winner of Lamont Peterson, Sergei Lip Lipinets. Something like that. But I don't want to see him in another fight against an elite fighter like this until he proves himself. He's going to have to work his way back up. Perhaps not unpredictably, Broner again made a fool out of himself in the post-fight press conference and with Jim Gray where he said, J Jim Gray told him that basically, hey, you're 3-3-1 three, three, and in your last seven fights, um, what's next? Broner came back at him and said, I might be 3-3-1 three, three, and one in my last seven, but I'd be 7-0 and no against you. Which means nothing, and Jim Gray pointed out to him, well, that wouldn't mean much. And rightfully so. You said you did this for the hood, Adrian Broner. Well, I don't think they're too proud of you after a performance like that. No urgency. And he said he, not only did he think that he beat Pacquiao, when he got his butt kicked. He said, I control the fight. He was missing. Well, let's be honest, Broner did make him miss quite a bit, but he wasn't making him pay enough. Enough, there were plenty of the shot, plenty of the shots were making contact. This right here really captures Broner's mindset. Believe you won the fight, even if you didn't. On God and Ben. <laughs> so what's next for Manny Pacquiao? Is it a rematch with Jeff Horn? That's what I would like to see personally. More so than a Mayweather-Pacquiao rematch. I know that would do, like, like major money again. After their record-breaking, just lucrative fight in their first fight. But, at this point of Floyd's career, first of all, I'm not sure if he's interested and I think that would potentially be another lackluster fight. Tell me in the comments below, who do you, who do you want to see Pacquiao fight next? So I'll be back shortly with a prediction for Keith Thurman versus Jose Cito Lopez. Until next time, Joe Box TV.